surface rough parallel. In order to do surface rough parallel, we need to first create a surface. Using the same diagram from the last tutorial, we will scale it down so the width is much smaller. This is because the height of the surface will be based on the width of the diagram when creating a revolving surface. Now go to Revolve Surface, hold Alt until you see the green square, draw the line to the top here, start angle at 0, end angle at 180. You want to draw from bottom to top to create the convex surface. If you draw from top to bottom, it will create the concave surface. Now select the surface, go to Draw, Bounding Box, and increase the size of the bounding box to 5. Now we will create the toolpath. Go to Toolpath, Surface Rough, and Rough Parallel. Select your tool. Diameter 3.175, height 22. Total depth of milling and layer depth. Surface rough parallel works within layers because it is unlikely that you will have only one layer when creating a revolving surface. The rate is proportional to the overlap ratio. Clearance is the shortest distance between the original surface and the surface after the carving. One-way mill will mill the material in only one direction, but may take twice as long. So don't use it if you wish for faster machining. Click OK and the toolpath will be created and go to toolpath, toolpath shaded simulation And now you have created a toolpath for surface rough parallel. Go to toolpath, toolpath output, and you can save it. Save it as surface rough parallel. And you have completed the toolpath for surface rough parallel. And that is all for this tutorial.